Hi guys, today I want to answer some questions on why it's important to get prototypes made and how the process works. So it's really important to get prototypes made because this is how you're going to test the aesthetics of your product, the look, the feel, the functionality, and you can still make changes in the design process before you've submitted a final design to a factory. The first step in designing a prototype is industrial design and concept generation. What this means is you're going to work with an industrial designer who's going to sit down with you and go over all the needs of your product, what the functions that you want it to have are, and the features. So then you're going to sit down and do what's called an ideation process. This is basically market research. Your designer is going to go out into the marketplace and see what similar products have as far as functionality, look, feel, and see where you might be able to bring something new to the marketplace. Then you're going to begin the process of concept sketches. Typically, most product designers do a series of product sketches that are either three, six, or nine sketches. Then you're going to sit back down with the designer after you've completed the sketches and pick out which functions, look, and feel that you like to each one of the sketches. Then you combine and make one final sketch. This is going to be the product that you're going to then put into CAD or Computer Aided Design is a software that allows your product to be virtually created in a computer system that allows your designers and engineers to tweak and adjust the product one last time before 3D printing. The third and final step is taking your CAD file to the 3D printers. 3D printing technology has come a long ways in the last couple years. You can now get 3D prints done in less than 24 hours for most products. 3D printing has drastically sped up the design process for products and it allows you to test the functionality before you take your product to manufacturing. The advantage to having the CAD files done is if you find a flaw with your 3D prints, you can easily go back and make a really fast change and get a new model printed without spending a lot of money on expensive mold and tooling changes. So guys, I hope this has answered some of your questions you had on 3D printing and prototyping. If you guys have any additional questions, I'm going to post the link to the Focus Product Design website in the description below. Also, you feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of different videos on product design, and we're open to taking any kind of questions you guys may have, and maybe we'll shoot a video on your question. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video.